Let us look at the formation of longshore drift. So there we have the beach. Notice the wave comes, hits the beach at an angle. And so therefore it means that the swash comes onto the beach at an angle. So there you see how it comes, not perpendicular to the beach, but at an angle. What then happens to the backwash? The backwash runs straight back because of gravity, so that is perpendicular to the beach itself. And so can you see it washes, water runs right back into the sea perpendicular to the beach. Now, how is this going to affect a sand particle as it moves along? So the swash moves it forward at an angle, backwash pulls it back perpendicular to the beach, so forward and then back and then forward again with a swash and then back uh, with a backwash. So effectively then, can you see what happens with the longshore drift? How is a particle moved along the beach? It's moved parallel to the beach. And so that's the direction of the longshore drift. So this means then that sand is actually moved along and washed away. So what do they then do to prevent this from happening? You build a groin. So it's a structure that goes right out into the water. And then can you see what happens? There's an accretion of sand. And so here we see an actual picture of what this looks like. So there you see the groins build out to, to, into the water and then there's a build up of sand to preserve the beach.